what's happening in our real estate market globally? That's the question of the hour. First off, let me start off by saying that I am just reporting what analysts and real estate experts across the nation are predicting. I cannot personally, nor can anyone else, control or predict what will actually happen. But according to Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, Wells Fargo, B of A, and several other analysts, they are predicting economic growth in the third quarter, ranging from 15 to 25%. A graph statistic from Opportunity Insights shows that most businesses, ranging from healthcare to transportation, all had a decline in consumer spending in the first half of the year with the exception of groceries, which actually went up. So it's good news that their predictions from the analysts are that we will see progress in the third quarter as compared to the first half of the year. In fact, according to Lisa Shalit, the Chief Economist Officer of Morgan Stanley, she states, and I quote, indeed, the worst GDP reading could be followed by the best ever growth in the third quarter. So, we are starting to see a rebound. Small businesses obviously have been impacted during the stresses and issues that are happening across the globe. But how has this impacted the real estate market nationally? How have we recovered there? Well, I'm going to show you a few quotes from several economists and real estate analysts regarding the recovery of the housing market. And it's very interesting. It almost reads like a movie trailer. Realtor.com, astonishing rebound. Housing wire, shockingly strong. Adam Data Solutions, hold something of a high wire act in the second quarter. Zillow, stared that pandemic right in the eye and hasn't blinked. Myers Research, has been nothing short of remarkable. So it seems that the housing market may play a critical role in the recovery. Since about the middle of May, the weekly showing of housing, people are out looking at homes across the nation. People are out in full force now more than they have been previously throughout the entire year. According to the National Association of Realtors, the housing market index looks into four things, demand, supply, price, and time on market. It combines those together and creates an index. We see a rise and a dip down, and now we are above what we were in February of this year. So it shows that we are recovering strongly. So the question is, what's going to happen with pricing? What should we do? Well, continue watching and we'll get more into the details on that. Chelsea with Chelsea Cook Real Estate, and I can't wait to keep you informed.